If a heritage home falls in Haberfield and Lucy Turnbull wasn't there to hear the crash, did it really happen? Are you disturbed at the loss of heritage there um, in um, Haberfield? Around Haberfield. Um, I'm not aware that there are houses going to be demolished at Haberfield. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not aware. I'm not aware of the. Um, I'm not aware of the loss of heritage at Haberfield. I have to tell you. Yes. Uh, well, I, I thought it was the Haberfield was a suburb, and there was a, quite a, a, a huge loss of heritage buildings there. Um, well, I'll have to investigate that, Kerry. Uh, um, um, but I will have to. I'll have, Wendy. I'll have to investigate that. But I will. Um, mm. in, the, in the meantime, it is. Can I say? The Prime Minister's wife is the appointed chief of the Baird Government's Greater Sydney Commission. She even gets to sit in Cabinet. So it's extraordinary that she apparently hasn't noticed the ongoing destruction of homes and heritage being caused by West Connex. And so it came about that residents and activists decided to take Lucy on a tour of the devastation, if only in effigy. Whole streets of heritage homes like this, in an urban conservation area gazetted by the National Trust in 1978, by the State Government in 1985, and registered on the National Estate in 1990, have disappeared. And the Chief of the Greater Sydney Commission hears nothing, sees nothing. been all over the news for months. TV, the papers, the web, the radio. Equipment has been blockaded. Demonstrators have been hauled out of homes and arrested. And the Prime Minister's wife hears nothing, sees nothing. And this is just the start of it. They're coming for St Peter's, Roselle, Camperdown and Glebe next. This is what two and a half blocks of Haberfield look like now, just to please the toll road barons. The Baird government, with Lucy Turnbull's support, is spending $17 billion. That's $7,000 for every household in the state, just so the average motorist can drive an additional 200 metres a day. No and so the question is this. Was the Prime Minister's wife, the Chief of the Greater Sydney Commission, actually aware of the destruction of heritage and the other grave implications of West Connex and just decided to dissemble? Or is Lucy Turnbull a point pipe of gibbet brought in to decorate the Baird government's handover of planning powers to the toll road barons and the property developers? You be the judge.